CBS's Steve Hartman goes on the road to visit an American hero who turned a single act of kindness into a mission to help others. Veterans Day was every day for 80-year-old Navy veteran Kenneth Jerry. To honor those who served, he used to visit this veterans park in Matomidi, Minnesota, just about every morning, until his mobility scooter broke. That was my life. So once the scooter broke down, you could not get to the no, memorial? No, I was very sad, depressed, depression. And then all that changed? All that changed? Believe me. It changed after he met a stranger in a coffee shop. Her name is Amanda Klein. Every moment you're talking with him, you feel like he cares about you and you want to know more about him. You know, it's just contagious. And she says you can't help but help him. So after she heard about the broken scooter, Amanda started an online fundraiser. And within days, oh my goodness. Kenny got a brand new one. Oh, here we go. <laughs> they presented me that scooter. My goodness. I'll never forget it until the day I die. Oh. And not just one oh, scooter, so but a second super snazzy one. Oh, my goodness. Kenny was set. But donations kept pouring in, and a guy can only use so many scooters. So he's now on a mission to take the kindness bestowed upon him and scoot it forward. Yeah. Over the last year, Kenny and Amanda have donated more than 50 mobility scooters to veterans in need. Thank you, Kenny! The latest, a surprise for Vietnam veteran Dave Anderson. Dave's disability was getting in the way of walks with his grandson. But not anymore. Oh my this goodness. This is for you. This is for me? What? Now you can do whatever you want. Mission accomplished. But Kenny's fight against immobility carries on. That's my goal, and it will be until the day I die, is to donate scooters to uh, servicemen and women. In the beginning, all Kenny wanted was a way to get down here to honor the fallen. God bless you. It rest in peace. But thanks to the kindness of strangers, he now has a way to honor the living, too. Steve Hartman, on the road, near St. Paul, Minnesota.